All right, what's up, guys? <clears throat> I hope y'all can see that. Anyways, so we're going to get right into lupus. So, guys, understanding what lupus is. Lupus is just when you, it, it's an autoimmune, what they call an autoimmune disease, and that's when the body attacks itself. So you, you take this right here, these antibodies right here, they attack, let's see if I can get this a little closer. So these, these antibodies attack your body. They, they actually attack a lot of times the connective tissue and this can cause chronic inflammation and of the connective tissue and, and other areas as well, your skin, bones, and whatnot. So remember with lupus, it's similar because it's, uh, hold on, I don't wanna get into that just yet. Just remember that antibodies, it's an autoimmune dis uh, disorder that attacks its own body and mainly the connective tissues and causes chronic inflammation. So remember what anything that's inflamed, we're going to have itis at the end of it. So you can have some vasculitis, um, vascular litis or whatever, however it's said. You're going to have an inflammation of the vascular system. And, uh, you know, a lot of times people with that, they'll have aneurysms. They'll have issues with, with connective tissue disorders. So some of the signs and symptoms that you're going to have with lupus is going to have some... some uh, vascular issues, skin rash. A big thing with that is that butterfly rash right here. That's a huge thing with lupus. Um, you're going to have an increase in your liver uh, inflammation, which is going to cause uh, a decrease in the coagulation, kind of like with Cushing's disease. You're going to have an inflammation in your kidneys, which is going to increase your BUN. Your mouth will have sores, that's another thing. And your bones become really, really brittle, which can also, because your bones carry red blood cells, they also will have a decrease in the platelets leading to anemia. So that's another thing with lupus that it seems very complex, but you have one thing that leads to the next. Uh, it attacks your bones, the bones become brittle, that decreases red blood cell uh, production, which decreases uh, platelet production. So you're going to have that uh, coagulation issues along with, with all that. Um, so remember, guys, that brittle bones, decreased platelets, it's an autoimmune disease, and it ebb and flows. So we have a lot of times the disease will come and go, come and go. So it's very hard for patients to uh, to determine when it's going to come back, and a lot of times they will have what they call, um, you know, they, I'm trying to say uh, remission, and then it'll come back from remission and attack the body. So it's very frustrating with a lot of patients. I actually had an aunt who had lupus, um, <clears throat> and it's very very debilitating. So before we get into the pharmacology. I want to talk about some of the nursing interventions that you're going to teach your patients and what you're going to do. Because remember, guys, I keep talking about this, that nursing interventions are pretty much everything in nursing style questions. So that's what we're going to get into right now is nursing interventions. So you want to teach your patient with lupus. A big thing is no sun, no heat and no stress. Anything, any of those cause inflammation and it's hard for the body to repair itself when it's already chronically inflamed. Tell them not to exercise too much um, because again, remember, it's all about the inflammation. Tell them to wear sunscreen when outdoors. You want to make sure that they're, they don't go into the sun especially, but when they are, to make sure they wear sunscreen. Um, also avoid large crowds because their immune system is so depressed. Um, they have a risk for infection. And when that happens, you get infected. You also become at risk for septic or sepsis or septic shock. 
I'm not going to get into that right now, but that is a risk. Um, well, no large crowds. Okay. Also, when it comes to their diet, teach them to decrease fats and decrease cholesterols because that is what causes inflammation in the body. Remember, guys, that lupus, get, look at the big picture. It's attacking itself. It's causing inflammation. It's an autoimmune disease. So what are we going to do as far as medication wise? And you can see up here, we're going to give corticosteroids such as prednisone, NSAIDs, which is an anti-inflammatory, Tylenol. And another big thing, guys, is this one right here, Plaquenil. Plaquenil is an antiparasitic and an immune, immunosuppressant. So it works good for people with lupus, but one thing you got to make sure you teach them on Plaquenil is the eye exams every two weeks. Because it attacks the retina, you want to make sure that you're teaching patients about getting regular eye checkups every two weeks when they're on the Plaquenil. So guys, that's a quick overview of lupus. And just remember, let's hit on this real quick. Lupus attacks its, its own body. It, it, it attacks itself. It's an autoimmune disease. Chronic inflammation. Remember the signs and symptoms of different inflammation, lung, skin, liver, kidneys. Another thing was the anemia, the brittle bones, and the decreased platelets. And then switch your mind over to nursing interventions. Teach them no sun, no heat, no stress. Um, wear sunscreen, no large crowds. Um, <clears throat> decrease fat, decrease, decrease cholesterol, which we all need to do anyways, but especially people with lupus. And go over the farm really quick. The pharmacology, topco steroids. A big one is prednisone. And remember with the Plaquenil, the eye exam. All right, guys, that's a quick uh, overview of lupus. We will rewatch this video and try to take it all in, get it in your head, and keep studying.